Hi everyone, my name is Justin DeRoy, and uh, joined once again by my brother Mike for uh, another Schmodown. We got a uh, team match today. It's uh, Deep Cuts versus IGN. Um, uh, I'm not really, again, familiar with like either one of these teams. Like I know I've seen them on here, but as for how good either team is, I really don't know. I don't care. Um, so, um, you know, let's just go ahead and get into this and have some fun with some movie trivia, right? Let's go. And their opponents. Representing the yeah, I saw what it was. With a record of one win, no defeats, and one knockout. Give it up for Eric and the TD. Oh, they're doing the clammy hands. Oh, oh the clammy oh, hands. Deep, oh. deep cuts. Deep wow, deep look at <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Playing up the, the yes, controversy that for hit both teams not too long ago. Oh, yeah. oh, well. Fresh wounds for IGN. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, looks like one of the teams has some adult water on the table. It's going to be fun. All right, so here it goes, round number one. It's going to work like this. The competitors are going to get eight I've never questions heard worth of one point apiece. Fifteen seconds Adult to answer the right. question. When it is time for the competitors to answer, they will show their board to the camera and water. say the answer at the same time. Don't forget the JTE rule, meaning that you can ask three times during the match to repeat the question. Also, if you have a challenge, if you don't agree with one of the rulings, if you think that maybe something was was right, if it was ruled wrong, you can challenge. If it is overturned, keep your challenge. If not, you lose your challenge. Also, first round, if somebody happens to get all eight questions right, you'll get a bonus question worth one point apiece. All right, so deep cuts. Are you guys ready? Ready. Yeah. Hi, Jan, are you ready? Yes. Ready. Then let's get ready to schmodown! <laughs> All right, round number one in the category of action adventure. Which Bourne movie did not star Matt Damon as the lead? That'd be the fourth. I do like that. Man. The fourth one. Yeah, 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 that was the zero. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, it's um, it's okay, kind of okay, how yeah. I look at the world. I should believe it. Five. So, four, three, two, Born one. Legacy. Legacy. Down, Aaron. Born Legacy? That's correct. Jim. Born Legacy. Bad. Yeah. Born Legacy. Correct. Eric. Born Legacy. There you right. go. All right. So yeah. deep cuts. Yeah. One of the least favorite ones. All right. All right, guys. Question two. Category comedies. What 2016 Richard Linklater film did he call, quote, the spiritual sequel, uncle, to Dazed and Confused? Oh, that's, that's um, everybody wants that it. That is true. That is true. And I'm um, going to prove that. No nope. clue. I watched it. I was not a fan of it. This scene about a movie about right. a bunch of drunk frat boys was really all that entertaining. Everybody wants some. Yeah. Correct. That. I almost wrote that. Well, well yes. all right, Eric. Newton Boy's Revenge. That is incorrect, <laughs> Eric. I didn't have it. No, no so uh, only Jim, Jim hits it. All right, only Jim hits it. Okay, next category. Category of dramas. Who portrayed King George the Sixth in the four, I mean, Oscar-winning movie The King's Speech? Um, that's um, Colin Firth. No, I'm actually the last Napsok in the world. Really? In terms of lineage. Um, you don't want that to be true, do you, forever? Oh, you got a lot of pressure on me oh. to uh, find out what sex is. Oh, five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, that. Colin Firth? Correct. Eric. Colin Firth. Aaron. Colin Firth. And Jim. Colin Firth. All right, Jim has not missed yet. Jim Vita is, is solid right here. Next All right. category. Question number four, category, movie quotes. Finish the movie quote from The Godfather. Leave the gun, take the... The blank. cannoli. Have you ever taken the blank, Christian? It depends on what year. Mm, it depends on what state for me. Five, four, three, two, one. Pets down, and Eric. Oscar, I can take a man, Eric. Cannoli? That's correct. correct. Yeah. Jim. Cannoli. Correct. Take the cannolis. There you go. All, right. All tied up. Here we go. <laughs> All right, next question in the category of horror slash thriller. 
Which 1982 horror film received a remake in 2015? Um, I think it's Poltergeist? Do you remember the year? Yeah, I haven't had a drink since I want to say it's Poltergeist. Poltergeist is 2015, I think. One, three, two, one, and Nightmare on Elm Street? Correct, Jim. Poltergeist, correct. That. Boom! I had an Amityville horror. Eric. Thank you, Jim. All right, so yeah. Jim. So now this is the last question. Oh no, it's two more questions. Two more questions. Jim has hit six. All right, so uh, we got three more. Three more, sir. Three more, sir. Oh, yeah, sorry. three more questions. I, well, you're so impressed with Jim's performance. I understand. Uh, question. <laughs> <laughs> question six. Category: Comic book movies. In the Amazing Spider-Man movie, which villain did Spider-Man go up against? Oh, the first one. That's um, no, the lizard. The lizard. Oh, yeah. I don't have a joke, I'm just contemplating. I can give you five, here for a four, three, two, one, and down, and Jim. Lizard, correct. Perfect. That. Oh, I had a perfect uh, street so far. Correct. 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 Electro. Oh, man. Yeah. So I can't start the electro. Electro is the, 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 the second one. Yeah, it's the second one. Yeah, it's the second one. It's fantasy sci fi. The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe was a movie adapted from a novel written by me. Shane's got caught in the wardrobe for I three do not days know guys to get to another land. Damn it. Well, yeah, to go, yeah. uh, today, it was actually going to I know, it was a today. friend of J.R. Tolkien, five, but the guy who actually wrote three, those two, books, I don't know. Want that. C.S. Lewis? Correct. Eric. C.S. Lewis? Correct. See, I know I recognize the name once I heard Bean? Oh man! I <laughs> see us lose. See us lose. Almost said is a game I didn't want to say because I almost so if Jim said hits this how question, you will have see, a uh, bonus question. Your next Lucy question Clark. is the category of animated. Animated. Wait, is that the same? Here we go. Question: Animated. Uh, what? The martial arts legend voice of the Jackie Chan franchise. Oh, yeah, Jackie. I know you would know that. Yeah. I go to the zoo and talk to monkeys. I just make voices. I like to piss off the baboons. I really do. Three, two, one, Eric. Jackie Chan? Correct. Eric. Jackie Chan. Correct. Jim. Jackie Chan. Correct. Jackie Chan. There you go. But with that, Jim had a perfect round there. So here's the I almost had a perfect round if I wouldn't have missed that last one. Damn it. I think I got one more than I usually get, so. Uh, here we go. Get two. Oh. Uh, this is mixed bag, so. What type of baked goods is actress Carrie Russell's specialty in the dramedy Waitress? Pies. I think it's pies. I didn't see the movie, but. I'll say muffins. Brownies? Pies. Pies. Uh, right, so this is I think it's because I remember seeing a clip of it where she has something with pies. I'm going to go ahead and give myself, even though that's a bonus two. question, Works I'm going like to say I got it. You're going to give me a wrong wheel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To spin the wheel. Each question is worth two points. I've got to learn this song for the wheel on this thing. Well, not everyone says it, though. It's just some of the guys. It's just like, because it's really from Futurama. I've still got one. It's easy. Will morale be turn, turn, turn? Tell us a lesson that we should learn. Alright, give it a good spin, Jim. That's a spin. Spin That's a spin. That's a determined spin if somebody wants to get into the ultimate schmuck. Looking to try to get into the ultimate schmuck. Oh. Oh, wow. wow! That's a big thing. Dang. Dang. Nice. nice. Oh, Deep yeah. cut, feeling that. Gotta love that. Yeah. Seems to have that match. Yeah. Can I say opponents in the in post? Yeah. Is that possible? Right. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna do comic book movies. Comic book, book movies. movies. Okay. Wow. So that is, so IGN now on fire here. Uh, 13 it's good choice, because I might get this. Alright, here we go. Back to the categories. Comic book movies. Six questions in the world of comic book films. Who played the Rhino in The Amazing Spider-Man 2? Oh, all the amount of two points for yeah. IGN. Alright. Next question. We love the Amazing Spider Man movie. It is good. It is. I think it is. It's a lot of bad times. Age of Ultron. Which of the original six Avengers did Scarlet Witch not subdue with haunting visions? Hawkeye. Okay. 
two more points. Oh. This is where Eric, Eric is starting to shine here. Pick the right category. Yeah, All right, rate. question three. The answer to the quick. The Jack, Jackie Boy Rafferty in Sin City. Oh. Chris Williams. No. Um, Isn't... Benicio Del Toro. Two more points for uh, IGN. Wow. I was, uh, I was trying to absolutely think, was that Benicio Del Toro's character? Suicide Squad. Or was that the... Um, bar tends when what? the squad stops off for a drink. Oh, oh that's hard really point. Two more points. Perfect so far. This is a still two more questions. Yeah. All right. Which comedic actor cameos as Natalie Portman's date in Thor The Dark World? Chris O'Dowd, two more points. Wow. Yeah. I don't wow, know. Wow, man. The final question here. In Man of Steel, how old was Clark Kent when General Zod arrived? 30? 32? 28. If you want it, yeah. yeah. Is it A, 27 years? B, okay, 33 years. Oh, okay. C, 30 yeah, 33 years. Yeah. 24 years. B. B. Right for right. once, one. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Now, the Jesus factor. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah, so now, oh, deep cuts is in a very, very tough position. We need to question. have a really strong round two here. I guess or it could be a knockout here for IGN. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Take big swigs of the adult water, boys, and give a big spin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Get yes, several more. Several more. <laughs> they need at least five points. Yeah, they, yeah, they need to answer they need some questions. They need at least five points. Yeah, just just get up. up. Yeah. All right. I've yeah. never seen yeah. anyone yeah. actually yeah. get yeah. knocked out in just the second Ooh. round. That would uh, be, be sad. sad. So, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, comedy, comedy. comedy. Sticking with comedy, boys. You're gonna spin it. I think we gotta Stick we gotta play it safe. And all right, right. these are. All right, guys. I'll be answering the question. You get two points if you answer without multiple choice. You do have that as an option. Question one. The 2000 comedy Balls of Fury revolves around Ping Pong. Ping Pong. Yeah. Ping Pong. That's correct. Two, two points. Uh, all right, so there's a little bit here. Okay, next question. Question two. In Shanghai Noon, Owen Wilson's character went under the alias of Roy Oben. What was the character's real name? Wider. Multiple choice. All right, we have A, Bill Hickok. B, I think you Batman. not remember C, White Earp. White Earp. D, it's kind of Jesse easy. Taylor. It's like one of the most famous Western actors of all time. Like, who his real name was supposed to be? Uh, oh, not White. No, no, that's right. The, no, I'm thinking of the wrong person. Correct. <laughs> well, Western characters, I should say. I'm, I'm thinking of actually, what's his face? Um, A, Bill Hickok. The Duke. B, whatever. Bat Masterson. C, White Earth. D, Jesse James. But it's, didn't... Jackie Chan's was Billy the Kid or something like that? I think it was. That's incorrect. Look at the white That's like the, oh, the, the white thing they gave him. No, I don't think so. Right, so they avoided, they avoided right. the steel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so, Alright, question number <laughs> number three. three. Number three. Who played Darren Silverman in the 2001 comedy Saving oh, Silverman? Oh, God. It's, um, oh, what's his face? Uh, Jason Biggs. I was about to say the guy from American Pie. Jason Biggs? That's correct. Two points. points. All right, there you go. So twenty-four thirteen, starting to call back, trying to avoid that knocking. Right. All right. Next question. Question four. Jack Nicholson plays a therapist to what actor in the two thousand three comedy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's correct. Two more points. All right. So I've avoided the knockout so far here. So far. All right, question five. What Andy Griffith show actor played the villain, General Rancor, in the Leslie Nielsen comedy Spy Hard? God, I do not know the guy's name whatsoever. Uh, I think it was the sheriff, though, they're talking about. What's the villain? Three. Multiple choices. A. Don Knotts. B. Jim Neighbors. C. Jerry Van Dyke. Or D. Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith? No. Uh, B. Can you repeat the question? One of the JT I don't there. want to go with the obvious what one. What Andy Griffith show actor played the villain, General Rancor, in the Leslie Nielsen comedy Jim Neighbors Spy is my Hard. second guess. But... No, it's not Don Knox. Incorrect. 
Andy Griffith. That's correct. Wow. Wow. We'll see how this is. Tricky Skaliski there. All right, so now they're putting themselves back. They, they still they're actually almost half and half with their right and wrong chance. answers, though. But they're actually not doing that bad. If IGN can steal here on this next one, yeah. it could be a knockout. All right, so here is the the final the final question here. I think we're going to get the knocked out in the second round. Number two, final question, guys. In 1991's City Slickers, Mitch, Ed, and Phil go on a two week vacation to New Mexico to participate in what? A cattle drive or something. Oh wait, no, isn't it the Rain of the Bulls? They're driving cattle to. Oh, that's the second film they do. Rustling cattle. Well, it's a, it's a cattle, cattle drive. drive. Cattle yeah, right. so, yeah, so, so I had it right here. So. so they avoid the knockout. Now wow. they're able to make it. It's around number three. Had IGN stolen that, it would have been all over, Ken. So that was a big pull by Aaron. Taking us into <laughs> round number three. All right, round number three works like Damn, this. The will have three numbers from... I thought for sure. It almost first seemed like it. I knew this was a shorter episode. Kind of looked like, so I was thinking, like, oh, wow. Maybe it's short because they get knocked out pretty quick. One of the teammates. IGN, you guys have the lead. Please pick three numbers from 1 to 20. 7, 13, and 19. 7, 13, and 19. I right, don't IGN, really have much faith in Deep Cuts. Deep Cuts. Uh, Cuts this though, right now. 11, 17, 8, 11, and 17. All right, so it's going to work like this. Deep Cuts has to hit all three of their questions. Otherwise, IGN will win via TKO. Deep Cuts, you chose category number eight for your first category, and that is the category of fancy sci-fi. So who would like to take fancy sci-fi? Oh, okay. All right, two points. Which Star Wars actor? Played Moses in the 2011 sci fi film Attack the Block. Oh, that's um, correct. Yeah, that's correct. Fuck, that's the only guy from Star, Star Wars I know is in that. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Back that we, and then you have the category number 11, which is biopics. Biopics. Alright. Is that like a Who played Ice place? Cube in the film Straight Out of Color? Oh, it's his oh. son. I don't know his name, though. The fuck is the yeah, Ice Cube's son? Oh, I don't know his name either. Five, four, three, two, one. And you're the winner! Oh, wow. Yeah. I have a bad one, man. So, how do I match up to them? Let's see here. Oh, yeah, so, how did I match up that? Uh, 17. Oh, I'm, all, I'm only two points behind the losers. <laughs> and Michael, like I said, you did better than you've done. You got nine. And 11 wrong. I got four wrong. Well, no, I think no, I have to, you know I stopped counting some of my wrong ones. I know it's wrong because I think the last one says so like ten, but you know. Ah, uh, well, that is a fun match. Um, yeah, deep cuts just I don't know they just weren't really in the game very well though. They did they they got some good answers and so like that. Their first round they like almost like. We're kind of like neck and neck with them, and then they just got like a few more right answers. I believe they're the ones they got the uh, perfect round too. Yeah. So they got that um, extra question. Then um, they pretty much dominated, you know, in the the spinning challenge. So um, yeah, a uh, fun match. Anything else you want to into the end of this? Any other comments? Uh, no, no comments. At least I did better than, I think, the last time. I'm pretty sure. Alright, then, uh, that's gonna be it for us today. Um, be sure, if you, uh, enjoyed watching the video, to like, share, subscribe, and once again, I'd like to, uh, plug my short film, uh, Time Child Sucks. Try to go and check that out. Link will be in the description below. 
Um, well, that's all for uh, us. We are we are starting our gaming channel pretty soon here. I still just need to get everything set up in my room. Uh, actually, hopefully tomorrow we can actually start recording. Right. No, but it's the, the channel is going to be called Adults Only Gaming. Um, we're going to be playing, or he's going to be playing horror games and stuff like that. Um, and basically, it, it's going to be hilarious because he's like anything that jumps out, you're going to get to see him really scream. So yeah, hence the title, Adult Only Gaming. Don't let your children watch us. And if you watch this anyway behind your back, well, just know that I'm going to corrupt your youth because I cannot filter my cussing when I play those kind of games. So, anyway, that will be really all for us, though. Um, we'll keep you updated on that at uh, Game Channel, though. Um, but um, for now, this is it. Goodbye.